over six million. I have said it without verbalizing it. Why are you scared of verbalizing? When I've said it, you're choking me, all right? You're choking me. What did you just say to me? Look, you know how much I love my space. You know how much I value my space. Go in there, in the wardrobe. Your clothes are multiplying every week. I don't like that. I'm not comfortable with that. Wow. Wow. What? Why are you acting surprised? You wanted me to say my mind and now I'm speaking my mind and you're acting shocked. Really? Dave, take care. Oh, of course, go. By all means, I'll take care. You want to invade my space? You know how much I hate that? Come on, man! You better make sure you don't forget anything there! Take everything! Everything! You think I'll ask you to stay? Really? <laughs> you have something else coming. Hey, you have to order a cab. What did you just say? You need to go home. Why do I need to go home? Because that's where you live. All right, and I have an early morning meeting. Can't I say to you, Return? God will forbid that. Hurry up, let's leave, please. Baby, please, no. Baby, key you there. You think I'm playing? Get your ass up. Can't you hear me? Don't let me meet you there. I need to... Um... You're a very stupid guy. Whoa, guy, do you even sleep? Come on, how come you always... You turn up so early for the meetings. Are you trying to impress anybody? <laughs> huh? So tell me, how many of them woke up by your side today? I don't understand. Guy be coming down. Answer now. Because I could swear you said you were going to be here one hour earlier. And what makes you think is a woman that held me? Hmm? Couldn't you have thought that maybe I was trying to seal a deal or something? Deal? Yes! It's not a deal maker I've been. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. Mm -hmm. Pretty girl escorted me home last night. Oh. You know, I wasn't feeling well, guy. Hmm? I wasn't feeling well. Dave. And as usual, after doing your thing, you sent her out this morning. Come on, why are you saying it like that? It's what? typical you. How? <laughs> <laughs> Look, the thing is, I don't like it when commitments are forced, you know? You spend the night with a girl and the next minute she wants to move into your house. Besides, I'm not ready to play nice guy to any girl. Dave, you have a problem. <laughs> Can we focus on what pays the bill? What's up? Uh, business relationship and strategic partnerships. Hmm. So what's on the list of business relationships? Um, customers, vendors, sale leads, um, banks, stockbrokers, service providers, all of them, all of them. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's the situation analysis? Uh, well, you know, a lot of bridges have been burnt lately, you know. Bad press, very, very terrible customer satisfaction. Mm. Mm. And as usual, it's our duty to clear the mess. As always. I think you should check your mail for your offer. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Um, yeah. I got you this. I know not knowing the whereabouts of your sister and how she's faring has been eating you up lately, but you and your hard guy, hard guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I have no idea. Mm. So who is this? Uh, a private investigator. Private investigator? Are we in a mm -hmm. Hollywood movie? Come on. He's talking about a movie here. Look, I trust this guy. All you need to do is just tell him who you're looking for and pay him whatever I ask for. That's all. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Harold. I'm serious. A private investigator in Nigeria. Come on, man. I know three. Look, just call him, okay? Just give him a call. Fine, I will. In the meantime, let me see what these people are offering. Oh, yes, please. Mm. 
Hmm. Honestly, this place is really so good. I know. Trust me, it's so beautiful. Cool. Wow. Well, it's quite pricey. Girl, that's not a problem. What if we just try to see the agents? Maybe you can take us to the landlord directly. That would be lost for him now. Okay, so what if we increase his agency fee? Yeah. Girl, I'm just trying to make this thing work. Because your clientele base is really, really growing. I cannot continue to work from the house. Truthfully, I cannot. And it's so fine. Everything here is... Oh! Look at the furnishing. I'm telling it's you. It's exactly what I want. Exactly. Like, there's nothing more to add into this place. Just to resume and start straight. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is here. Yeah. Oh. Here is perfect. Um, what if we ask your boyfriend for assistance? No. Why? Is it a crime for him to support you financially? No, it's not. Well, I don't think it's time. I don't, I don't want to disturb him, please. Girl, it seems you're forgetting that this man is practically your husband. And trust me, he's going to propose to you pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Prophetess, uh -huh. please be calming down. Just calm down. Mm -mm. Let us just watch and see. Okay, no problem. <laughs> but just know that I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Because this man treats you like his wife. Doesn't mean he has made me one yet. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just, this, this, just stop it already? We are here to talk about business, not to talk about Fred. Okay. The last time I checked, I think I came for the same thing. But if that's how you want to play it, no problem. <laughs> um, so um, the resumption for all the staff should be, I think, 8 a.m. Then our target should be 1 million per day. Mm -hmm. And No, um, make it 10 million, business school. <laughs> make it 10. Yes, yeah, so I've sent everything you asked me to send. The three pictures and the video for, you know, confirmation of how she sounds. So is there any other thing you would want me to do? Like... Uh, Yeah, sure. But just, just, just let me know. Uh, Harold gave me your number, and I haven't done this before. So, if there's anything you think I could do to aid the, you know, finding of my sister, please, I'll be very glad to do that. That's okay. That's okay. All right then. I guess I'll talk to you later. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I just got off the phone with your guy. Oh, uh, the private investigator? Yeah. So what did he say? Well, nothing much. Just asked a ton of questions and said that I send um, three of her pictures and a video for confirmation of what she, she sounds like. Mm. You know? Okay. Yeah. I hope it works. Uh, well, at least it's better than doing nothing. Mm. Let's just hope she'll be back by herself if not found. But why would she leave in the first place? I mean, take a look at this. I tell my younger sister that she's dating an absolute lunatic. A nobody. And then she tells me that I have no moral justification to tell her who to be with. And I'm like, fine. If you must date this guy, do it outside the house. Do not bring him to the house. And then I return to a note that reads, I moved out. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Dave, she's still young. Her behavior is just typical kids her age. Did I do anything wrong? Is it a bad thing that I'm trying to protect my own sister? Not at all. She's all that I have and I am all that she has. What even give her the guts to, to stay away from home for a year and a half? No, no, Dave, don't do this. You've been on this issue over and over and over again. Look, let's just focus on the solution. Do you know that since after that crazy girl, the one that broke into my house the other time? Crazy Linda. Exactly. Do you know I haven't changed my locks just like you suggested that I do? What? Yes. Why? That girl could sneak into your house and poison of you. Of course I know that. But how would I change the locks when I'm thinking that one day she could just waltz back and... I mean, I want her to have access to the house now. She has her own copy of the key. You have a point there. I mean, she could just disappear again if she finds out the locks are changed. Exactly my point. Hmm. Harold, what do I do? Look, don't worry, okay? She'll be back. 
Let's just snap out of this mood and set up for this Zoom meeting. Guy, cheer up now. See, look, let's set up for this Zoom meeting. We have no time. We just have some few minutes. These guys are what? Waiting for us, right? Okay, let's shut this Maybe. There's something I've been planning to give to you. Take it. What's the key for? The key to my new house. Take it. Take it. Wow. <laughs> okay. You're not um, moving in yet, are you? Not yet. But you know, I, I actually want you to take charge of the furnishing. Yes. I want you to decide the look and the feel of the house. Oh. I mean, it's time we moved in, you know? Hmm? Yeah. Cool. I do want you to start this week. What? I told you I have two trainees I'm supervising. This week and next. I'm also trying to secure an office space. My clients want to start coming to my office. Baby. Baby, this is our home. And I want you to take charge of it. And I appreciate. But if I'm going to handle the furnishing, it has to be by the end of the month. Because of course it's not priority to you now. Oh, don't say it like that. But that's... It's not like we're desperate to move in now. So why do I have to sacrifice something that is currently important to me? You know, you're always looking for validation everywhere else. Except the one place you're actually getting it. I am not looking for validation from anywhere. And what are you what are you even trying to insinuate? You need to start acting like someone that is actually ready to build a home. Oh. How do people that want a home act? Well, and ask women that wear bands on their fingers. What exactly do you mean by that?
Are you peeping? Yes. Honestly, I do not understand why you would choose to bring out a key instead of a ring. I guess he's not ready to go there yet. God. But what I don't understand is how this beautiful night went from a supercharged romantic dinner to barely able to say goodnight to each other. Because he fucked up. He fucked up big time. Wait till. Shall you forget whether it's a ring? <laughs> see your face. <laughs> see, please just leave my face. I'm, see, I'm not even happy. I'm so pained. Mm. I am. When I was just patiently waiting for that one knee moment, Oga just chose to bring her key. To do what with the key? To do what? To reopen your heart? <laughs> Honestly, I was really thinking he was going to bring out a ring when his hand went into his pocket. Huh. Then, what? Life goes on. It will happen when it will happen. Just like that. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Wahala. Leona, cry. Leona, feel bad. You are human. So cry. See, I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of you trying to wave things like this. What is it? You do this all the time. And I am it I want to cry. I'm tired. What is it? I am tired. And yet you are one person that I know wants a family so bad. Megan, what do you want me to do? Tell me. I have been disappointed severally. Walked out from a man's house. Cheated on. I will never shed a tear for any man again. And I don't even plan on wasting my time for someone who doesn't want me. If he wants me, he will come for me. And he will do anything to keep me. And you know me too well. I would die being loyal to that man. So when the time comes, I will give my everything to that deserving man. Beautiful. Wonderful. No wahala. So, where will you put Fred? He's already in the position to be that man. Is he going to be that man? It's all up to him. Mm. Okay. <sighs> we can just calm down. Calm uh, down, okay? I'm calm. It will happen when it will happen. Yes, I love that line. <laughs> Hey, get up, you're going home. What? Get dressed and leave, you have to leave now. Yes. Why? Brenda is a friend of mine. Brenda, my sister? Yes. Come in, come in. Please, where is she? That's why I'm here. She and her baby Julie have been living with me for quite wait, wait, some time. Wait, wait. Her baby what? Baby Julie. 
That's her daughter. Brenda has a child? Yes, she does. So where is she? We're supposed to come here together because of some issues she's there having. What issues are you talking about? Brenda has been really sick. And Julie's dad is nowhere to be found. Plus, she's heartbroken. So without coming here, we'll just make everything good. Okay, fine. So, 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 so where is she then? Where were... That's the issue. She's supposed to be here. Here? Because she dropped this note for me. I got back from work yesterday. Rita, thank you for everything. I've been having terrible dreams for the past two nights. And now I'm going home. Sorry I'm informing you like this. I promise to be at your wedding. Love you. Brenda, talk to me! Brenda! Oh my god! Brenda! Brenda, no! What is this? Oh my god, Brenda! Oh my god! Brenda, no! No! Oh god! What is this? Brenda, don't Brenda. do this to me! Brenda, please don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! Brenda, you can be with whoever you want to be with. Just, just open your eyes, Brenda, please! Brenda! Oh my god! Brenda! <laughs> Brenda, talk to me, please talk to me! Talk to me! Talk to me! Talk to me! <laughs> this is not supposed to happen. This is not meant to happen. What is going on? Yeah. Why would you do this? Hi. Is that Dave's voice I'm hearing? Yes. Oh my god. You just lost Brenda. What? No. Why? <laughs> Dave. Dave, open up. It's me, Harold. Just go away. Bro, open up. You need to come out. <laughs> Dave! <laughs> hey, bro, 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 bro. Hey, you need to come out. You need to come. Out. Hey, hey, let go of my hand. Hey, bro. Let go of my hand! Oh, Stay away from me. Leave me. Leave me alone. Hey, leave me alone. Hey, hey. Harold, leave me alone, you see, bro. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hi, hey, I'm, I'm Harold, um, Dave's friend and partner. I'm Rita. Brenda was my friend. What happened? Brenda and her baby have been staying with me for quite some time now. We all planned to come here together. I got back home yesterday, only to find out that she had left the note saying she had gone home. Okay. Oh, no, because... We planned on coming here together. She had given me the address earlier. That was how I found my way here. <laughs> I got here to find out that she passed. Jesus. Passed. <sighs> and, and whose baby is this? It's Brenda's. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Dave. What's going on? We just lost someone. How? Where? 
She's she's in there. Oh, hold away. Do you mean someone is dead in this room? Yes. Jesus. I'm sorry, I had to call in the ambulance to take her to the mortuary. You don't take her out of this house. Dave, Dave, she's dead. Don't say that. I tried to call the doctor and he said the same thing. She's not dead. My sister is not dead. Why would she do this to me? Why? All I wanted was for her to pick a good guy. That's, that's all I wanted. And then she, she had to die? Why did she have to leave only for her to return and die? Why? Look, Dave, I'm sure she realized that you really meant well for her. Harold, it's just me that's left. No, you've got, you've got me now. You've got Brenda's baby. How am I supposed to take care of that child? How am I supposed to take care of that child? You know how hard it is? For me to stand a woman in my house for 24 hours, at most few weeks. How am I supposed to? <laughs> look, 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 hey, hey, hey. We'll figure it out, okay? We will figure it out. Right now, I just need to get Brenda's friend to take care of the baby. And I will take care of Brenda. Brenda, Brenda can't be dead, man. Brenda, hey, brother. Hey. My sister can't be dead, man. I'm sure if we touch her, she'll wake up or something. Maybe she's, maybe she's sleeping. Maybe she's in a very deep sleep, bro. Like, hey. my sister can't be dead. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, bro. <laughs> Hello, Rita. Hi. Um, I'm sorry about Brenda. Mm. I'm sorry too. You know, she mentioned you a few times. Hmm. I miss her. I miss her too. How is Dave? Uh, it's gonna take him a long time before he comes back together, you know? Yeah. She was all he had. Mm -hmm. He even hired a private detective to look for her. Yeah. I wish I was there talking to her earlier not to come back home. She don't, maybe she should have been here with us. Like, oh, God. It's not your fault. Okay? It's not your fault. Nobody would have ever believed that this moment would be possible. No. Can you please um, take care of the baby for a while? I could take your contact you know, and get Dave to come as soon as possible. Or maybe he could even stay here. My wedding is this weekend. I have to travel next tomorrow. Oh, oh wow. Well, um... Congratulations. Thank you. You know, Brenda promised she was going to attend my wedding. I feel your pain. I'm so sorry. She regretted leaving the house. She already made up her mind to come back home and pick up her life. <sighs> this is just so... And words can tell how I feel right now. Hmm. Well, I, I could stay here till tomorrow. I have to leave in the morning. Uh, I'm traveling with my family next tomorrow, so. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I can Thank go. you. I would, um, I'll quickly figure out what to do, okay? Uh, before the ambulance gets here. <sighs> ambulance. Okay. 
Let me quickly sort out a room where you stay. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting here. Oh, it's not a problem. I practically left here this morning, so it's fine. Julie? She's sleeping. You know, even though I just fed her, she'll still wake up and ask for food very soon. It's normal. <laughs> How do we handle that? Don't worry. Has Dave come out? No, he hasn't. But I, I think I checked up on him earlier because I found a book that Brenda left for him, so I took it to him. But he's fine. What? What's in the book? Oh, okay, the book. No, nothing, nothing serious. It's just some informations like that, like um, what Julie likes to eat, you know, her oh. birthday and her dreams for Julie. Just informations like that. It's nothing serious. <sighs> and, and you really have to go? Yes, I have to go. Mm. Don't worry. You survive. <laughs> I made extra food for her in the food flocks. Thank you. Okay? I think you should Google how to feed her while you make other arrangements. And <sighs> please, you guys should get a nanny that is good with little kids like her. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Please um, fill me in with the berry arrangements once you get anything. Oh, sure, I will. Um, yeah. let, me, let me have your contact so I could. Oh, let okay. You. Yes, please. Oh, thank you. Mm. Please have, have a good day. You too. Thank you. And Bye. once congratulations once more, okay? Bye. Bye. Hey man, you're still sitting here. Rita has left and Julie is in the parlor sleeping. I'm sure she'll soon wake up. We'll get to face reality of her presence. We need to get a nanny. I've been waiting for the bottle. She's really hungry. Don't worry. I'll take it to her myself. Don't worry. She's been crying. Practically have a migraine. Look, I told you to allow the nanny to take care of this child so you can rest from time to time. Did you not read the book? I did. Did you not read that she said it there so many times that I, was, I shouldn't let a stranger raise her child? Look, I saw it. I totally understand what she means by don't allow a stranger raise my child. But what she was talking about there is she needs you to be an integral part of her life. What she said is exactly what she meant. 
Our mm. parents had had us raised by nannies, all right? And because of that, we're not really close to our parents. They, sometimes they even forgot our birthdays. And Brenda always said that she would never have a child raised by a nanny. I understand. So you're telling me that is exactly what she's asking of you? Exactly. And I'm failing every day. Having a strange woman run up and down my house. But Dave, you practically know nothing about raising a child. You need to let this nanny get close to this child. Well, I'm not comfortable with that. Then you need to learn how to get comfortable with it, okay? If not, you wouldn't learn. I can't deal with having that nanny around. You see this problem with you not wanting people around your space and it's already affecting you. You see what this is what's causing to you? You're angry because this girl has stayed longer than your numerous girlfriends. I am, I am not comfortable with the nanny invading my space. How am I supposed to say that? Can't you see that this is a different situation? Can't you see this is a different situation right now? Okay, look. You don't like her, she doesn't like you. She's just here to take care of this child. Then stop looking at her with the same way you're looking at your other girls. Look, I'm not stupid, all right? I know she's not the same with my other girlfriends. <sighs> okay, you know what? Why don't you try calling one of your girls? I don't know, make them like you or something, so that you can get one to take care of your child or something. <sighs> What if that doesn't work? I don't know. You practically want someone you're familiar with. That's the only option you have. Talk to one of them. You must be kidding me. Excuse me, what do you want? I want to start by apologizing. Yes, yeah, start from there. What do you want? Come on. Come on what? You practically walked me out of your house. You didn't even call to know if I got home safely or apologize for being rude. Months later, you're calling me. What do you want? Um, to first of all, apologize for what I did and then invite you to my place. And what makes you think I'll ever want to come back to your place again? Look, I know what I did was stupid, all right? I want to make it up to you. I've moved on. I'm sorry. Please, come on. I need to see you. It's really important that I see you. What for? I'd rather we talk about it when we see. Can you come this evening? So you've suddenly grown conscious now? Well, you might want to say that. Please, can you come? I'm busy. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, that's fine. That's, 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 that's okay. That's okay. All right, thank you very much. Take care. You too. Oh, that shall never end. Driver, please move. Just, just leave the baby and, and go inside, all right? So what's going on? I'm trying to rock her to sleep. No, 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 no. She, she slept already. Just, just go. Are you sure? Yes, right now, please. Okay, sir. Baby. All right. my eyes or am I seeing a baby on your sofa? Oh yeah, that's 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 my niece. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. 
Please sit down. Thank you. Hmm. She's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. So you called? Yes, I called. I uh I wanted us to, you know, have a deep conversation about things, you know. What things? Life. You know how it is when life just happens to you. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Okay, I, uh, about the way you left the last time was really wrong of me. Yes, and the fact that I haven't called you even till now is totally unacceptable. And I want you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. It is important that you forgive me. That's fine. What I want at the bridge. Really? Thank you. That, that was easier than I thought. Yeah. So I've been thinking, yeah? I've been thinking about my life and my future and the people that would want to be in it. And you just keep crossing my mind all the time, you know? What do you mean by that? Is there someone in your life? No. Why? Oh, there isn't. Well, I want to be part of your life. Are you talking about a relationship with me? Because I want to be sure. Yes, I am. Dave, what happened to you? You said you don't date and you wouldn't date anyone. Life! <laughs> you know, life just um, has a way of changing so many things about you, yeah. Oh, yeah, but, but, but that was the former me. I am not that guy anymore. All right, my sister left me this, this beautiful baby. And it, you know, got me thinking. And more than any other time in my life, I need someone that could raise her with me. I'm not interested in having kids. What? I'm um, sorry, that um, it played out differently in my head. What, what do you mean by that? I don't like children. You don't? Yeah. Really? interested in having kids. What? I'm um, sorry, that um, it played out differently in my head. What, what do you mean by that? I don't like children. What's going on? You called me last night nonstop. Oh yeah, that's because you said you didn't want to have anything to do with me. I really wanted you to hear me out. Please, come in. Please, sit. I totally agree with you. And I'm sorry. Dave, why are you apologizing now? You had months to call me, but you didn't. Yeah. Something happened that changed my perspective of things. Is there a baby in this house? Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah, there is. You have a child? <laughs> of course not. That's um, 
My sisters, my late sisters. Oh my, your sister died? Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Sorry. She left me the, the beautiful baby. Beautiful little Julie is my responsibility. Wow. And you know that actually makes me think about my life and my future and who I want to be part of it. I'm sorry for your loss. It's okay. Um, do you, do you have a man in your life? Well, not at the moment. Okay, so that means you and I can try, you know. What? <laughs> you chased me out of your house, remember? Oh yeah, that, that's why I said at the beginning of this conversation that I'm an idiot, you know. I agree. Yeah, I can't even stop thinking about how deeply kind and thoughtful and intelligent that you were that night. That's what I want for my life. And that's of Julie. Baby Julie. I can't believe you're asking me out. Well, I am. Well, I like you and I um, love children. You do? Yeah. I wanted to be an elementary school teacher, but you know, how to pay my bills at the end of the day. Yeah, can, can't even begin to imagine what they pay those amazing teachers, you know. I gotta understand that. <laughs> Can you stay here? <laughs> well, I can move in immediately. Yeah. If you like. Okay. Wow. Aren't you lovable? Come here. Go get your things. While I get ready for you. Get your things. And then we'll see how we can figure this out. <laughs> Dave. Yeah, hi. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd like to have a word with you. Okay, sir. Um, I really must thank you for, you know, what you've been doing for Julie and I. Mm, sir, I'm only doing my job. <sighs> yeah, you've been doing that very well. Thank you, sir. Because of that, I'm going to pay your salary for this month <sighs> and the next to appreciate you for your services because I really wouldn't be needing them anymore. I don't understand you, sir. Who will be taking care of Julie? My partner and I. So you're sacking me? What? No. <laughs> Come on, of course not. I am thankfully ending your services here. <sighs> but sir, that's not what Mr. Harriot told me. He said it's a long time job. Well, Jane, as you can see, Mr. Harold doesn't live here with me. No problem, sir. I understand. It was nice having you work with us, you know. I was not working for you, sir. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> All right. 
Later. Did you see the message I sent you? Uh, yeah, well, I didn't understand it. Look, I sent the nanny away, hoping that Frida was going to take care. Now Frida left, angry that I want to make her a mother of a night. Guy, what's your problem on chasing women away? I didn't chase the nanny away, I even paid her for two months. I didn't chase her away. Wait, so you think Frida, who does not have a child, or has anything to do with children, can easily take over from the nanny that I brought for Julie overnight? Look, it's not easy, man. It's not easy dealing with that nanny, all right? I just thought that someone, maybe if someone that I liked, even if it's just a little, could help. That's what I thought. <sighs> Listen. Listen very carefully. You see this attitude of you not wanting people around your space or something? You need to dead this attitude. Look at the bigger picture here. You're a father to a tiny little girl. Yes! Who would grow up to be a teenager, have a boyfriend, get married, give birth to children and make you a grandfather? Oh, oh, oh yeah? Even if you don't want to get married tomorrow, you have no choice than to raise that little child on your own. And let me tell you something. If you ever make decisions without putting her first, God will punish you. Well, let me tell you something. Don't ever call me a grandfather again. I'll kill you. <laughs> and I'm serious. Hey, you're going to be a grandfather. Handsome grandpa. What do I do, <laughs> man? Come on. Just calm down, okay? Just calm down. We'll, we'll sort a solution to this. All right? Let me go into it. Maybe you should, you should actually consider coming to help me out sometimes, you know?
I can't do this. I can't do this. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda wouldn't have liked this. Oh, God, help me. Help me, God. Head down. Hey, go. Shh. Shh. Go. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. There's no way I would have left you, eh? Oh. Hey, what's going on? How? Where did you go to? Oh yeah, we went for um, went for what? Sightseeing, right? Mm? Went for sightseeing, yeah. <laughs> sightseeing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that to get acquainted with her or to get in some fresh air so you could come back to your reality? <laughs> See, a combination of God and thunder. Now you go fire you for this mockery. You hear me? Nonsense. Daddy. <laughs> Anyways, um, I called the nanny, but she's, she's refusing to come back, and there's nobody available. So whose action now has brought us to this predicament? Oh, well, if she doesn't want to come back, that's left for her, all right? Um, please help me watch her. Let me get her food. I'm happy I found you here. Ah, uh, me? Mm. Let me get her food. I'll be back in a minute, okay? How now? Welcome to my reality, Harold. Oh, baby. How are you? Mm. Uh, Madam, hurry. Leona! Leona! Goodness. Hi. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry I screamed your name like that. I wasn't, I wasn't so, so sure it was you. Hi. No, it is me. I've been trying, <laughs> I've been trying to reach you. I haven't changed my number. Well, I guess I lack the confidence to call you after, after what happened. Nah, Dave. You and I know confidence isn't the problem. We know how large your ego is. You're still upset with me. You wish. It's been two years already. I'm focused on living my life. I was really stupid back then. I'm sorry. Oh. Hi! I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. My name is Dave. I'm Megan. Okay, it's my pleasure. I'm an old friend of hers. Oh, okay. Please, I don't intend to take much of your time. Hope that's not a problem. It's fine. As long as my friend here has no issue with that, I'm good. I'll just wait, okay? Okay. Leona, we need to talk. We're talking already. But I don't see any other talk happening after this one. Of course. I deserve that. You know, a lot has been happening. I've actually been through a lot. I lost my sister and... What? what? Yeah. I lost Brenda. Oh, my goodness. I am, I am so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Now, a lot of complications came with her demise and I would really love you to help me. Complications like? Can I invite you to the house? All right, it's not something I can really talk about here. You know, you know. I have your number. I, I could text you my address. Please. 
Please, Leona. Fine. Text it. I'll see if it's possible for me to come over. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Yeah. Wait. Is that a deaf guy that chased you out of his house two years ago? Yeah, he is. <sighs> wow. Even right now, I don't even know what to say. Are you serious? Guy, you need to see the traffic coming back, man. It's insane. Traffic. Yeah. Hey, you. Well, you think I'm? Uh, you think I'm lying? Why are you smiling? Traffic. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Hello. Mm. Well, just two minutes that I went out, that's why you're turning red like this. Hmm? Guy, I've been standing for hours. She literally does not want me to sit down. <laughs> Welcome to my own side of town. Mm. Give me her. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Mm. I think this will be over pretty soon because we actually might have found the right help. You yeah. found a nanny? Leona. Mm hmm. I invited Leona. What? <laughs> yeah. Two years ago, Leona. Yes. Guy, are you okay? You what? sent that girl out of your house. Well, I didn't send her out. She just came multiple times, that's all. That's because you you said she was special and you kept inviting her over. Well, to come and go, not to come and live with me. I mean, her clothes in my wardrobe were multiplying. Because she thought you were a decent human being. Well, <sighs> decent human beings, when they keep seeing a babe off on you, it means one thing. There is a relationship happening. Well, I didn't see it that way. Stop smiling. You don't even know her. You don't even know if she's married or she has kids. No, no, no. I didn't see a ring on her finger. Well, not all married women wear rings. And there are even some that have kids and still live with their partners. I didn't, I didn't think about it that way. <clears throat> you better start thinking about when Leona will come here, only to find out that you brought her to the house to take care of little Julia as a nanny. No, to raise her, actually. Oh, is that the new lie? <laughs> what? It's not, it's not a lie. Come on, that's a decision I've taken. <laughs> since when? No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, eh? sorry. Since when? Well, since baby Julie and I were in sightseeing. I actually need help, man. Mm. Right? And I've asked, I've asked Leona to come. Hmm. Sorry. 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 Anyways, um, good luck with that. Um, I have to run along, okay? The client wants to see us, but I have to tell him that you're indisposed. Um, so I have to go freshen up and move to him. I'll represent us. Yeah. All right. And uh, still, I'll keep looking for your nanny because I know for sure that this would not work. Your prayers are filled, bro. Uh, See you, daddy. And represent us well. See you, daddy. <laughs> That's the key, dear. <laughs> All right, I'll be back later. All righty. All right. Take care, man. Oh, God. This is not easy. Sorry. Hi. Hey. Um, I hope you didn't have a hard time locating this place. No. You know, you know I moved out of the other house. Nice. Mm. This way, and, and sit. After you. Thank you. Yeah. Should I should I get you something? No, I'm good. Okay. Um Leona. I am really sorry for, for the way I treated you two years ago. I was really stupid. 
and it was totally out of character. And I wouldn't say that getting a little older has, you know, made me learn my lesson, but the situation I found myself in has. I'm really sorry. I really want to be honest with you henceforth. You see, when you and I were together... We were I... never together. Oh, yeah. I made sure of that. So I'll rephrase. When I was seeing you, I realized that you you were grounded. And you did everything possible to make sure that things worked out between us. And I messed it all up. I could not forget how easy it was to be with you. <laughs> and you remembered everything the moment you saw me yesterday because you had my number and you never called. Oh yeah, that I... Well, I was, I was sure that you had moved on, that you were done with me, you know. And I was just too embarrassed to call you. But seeing you yesterday just, you know, Resurrected the confidence that I needed to call you. Okay. Yeah, now. Why did you invite me? I need your help. Brenda left me a baby. What? Yeah. She left me a little baby. Baby Julie. And she left a note begging me not to let a nanny raise her. The note also pleaded with me that I shouldn't give her up for adoption. So you see, but the problem here is I don't even know anything about raising children. What have you been doing to take care of the baby? Well, I got a nanny, but that, that, that didn't work out. That went south. So what do you want me to do? Leona, please. Can you help me take care of her? Look, if you want to stay here, it's fine. It's fine. I, I really love that. And if you want to be coming from time to time, I'll, I'll take that too. Uh, oh, hold, hold on, hold on. I don't understand. Why me? Leona, you're the, you're the only one that, you know, gave me that sense of a home when I was with you. And you're the one I've been with for the longest. Please. I need your help, please. Please. Can I see the baby? Yeah, sure, sure. She's um, she's in her room. Let's go. This way. Welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? Come sit down. So tell me everything. Brenda left the child and Dave wants a female figure in her life. What? Yes. Is that why I invited you over? After chasing you out of his house two years ago? Yes. I just hope you told him to go to hell and kiss your ass. I saw that baby's face. Oh, Leona, stop this. 
I know you love kids, okay? And you want your own children. But we're not doing this with this guy. He's not worth it, okay? And just to think about the things you told me about him back then, nah. It's not gonna work. I think he has changed now. I think he's different. I've never known him to be someone that admits that he needs help. Girl, trust me, that is his new style. Do not fall for it. I feel for Brenda. Oh my goodness. Girl, Brenda is dead. God rest her soul, but she's not part of this conversation. Yes. Luna, listen to me. I am your friend, okay? Do not do things that you end up regretting. Raising a child is a lifetime commitment. I don't know how long this will take, but I want to do this. <laughs> hmm. Hi. Hey. So I thought about it and I can't tell how long I'll be available. But I'll do it. You'll do You'll do it? Really? Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Can I have her? Sure, why not? Yeah. Oh. Hey mama. She looks excited. <laughs> please, please call me. <laughs> Hi, Chili. Hey. <laughs> hey. Um, you didn't tell me you were coming. Well, since when did it become compulsory for me to inform you before I come back? Hmm? Come in, come in, come in. How are you? Good. Oh, Sorry. you're looking good though. Where are you coming from? Uh, a, a friend's house. Uh, they lost their sister. Are you serious? Wow, that's sad. Very. Anyway, what are you doing tomorrow and the rest of the week? I'm actually very busy. Why? Well, I I wanted us to spend some time at the new apartment. Now that I'm done with the furnishing. Oh, I. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I. Ah, I it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, we'll definitely move in together at the end of the day, right? Yes, yeah, it's absolutely. It's fine. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> You're looking good. Real. Thank down. you. Has it gone? Yes. You lied. I didn't. You were being economic over the truth. How do you know that? I heard you guys. You see, I had no choice but to eavesdrop. Carol, I think you're going to complicate things for yourself. I am not complicating anything. I'm only concerned about the child. So, we fail to understand that when the time comes, You know, getting me to go out right now is the best gift anybody can give me right now. Trust me. But why are you so confident that Luna is going to stay? What are you saying? She, she actually came back herself. I told her the truth, all right? And she came back the next day. I mean, if she didn't come back herself, this your feel would have been valid. And I'm sure you didn't get to tell her that you've tried other women before her. Of course, how would I tell her a thing like that? But you said you told her the truth. Yes, because I, I, I told her the ones that mattered and I left out the ones that didn't matter. Look, as a matter of fact, I gave her a spare key to this house. What? Yes. Wait, you gave a girl you dumped two years ago a spare key to your house? 
I left the baby in her care. What's a house compared to a baby? What is wrong with you? Dave! Why do you think she even has good intentions towards you? What if she's in this house to actually avenge what you did to her? <laughs> Listen, people employ nannies that they do not know all the time. I just feel that having someone that I connect with somehow would just work for me. I mean, I want to be in the baby's life. I want to be involved. And this is it. This will be easier for me. Okay. Does it say, make sense? If you say so. If you say so. I think we should leave now. I need to tell her about Ma. I need to tell her a few things before we leave. Uh, all right. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey, Leona. Hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know you all. You're surprised to see me all dressed up. Um, Harold here was supposed to present us, but um, I thought to tag along, if, if that's okay by you. Oh, it's fine. I I was actually going to tell you about a daycare I saw. Okay. I did a little research and you're not bad, so you don't have to panic. Julie can join them. That will give everybody a little time to do some work. Oh, no, no that, that, that's, that's good. Yeah, so just... Um, just let me know how much it will cost when I return, right? Sure. All right. You have a nice day. You too. I love you. Bye. Bye. Ah. Guy, guy, hold on, hold on. Huh? I love you. Guy, what's in me that? Now look, I'm going through some panic attack and it's affecting my words and action. You are doing everything possible to make her stay and that's awkward. You think I don't know? Of course I know that. Ah, guy, <sighs> calm down. Relax. Whatever happens, happen. What do you mean I love you? Well, I guess you're right. She was really seeming like some douchebag right now. Let's go to the office. he loves you. I was so shocked. Then I became very angry because he is stupidly manipulative. And I'm about to take care of that. Okay, so what do you want to do? What I've always wanted to do. Don't worry, I'll keep you posted. Please just continue to take care of things at the office. I don't want my absence to be felt. Thank you. I am home. Leo? 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 Leo! What the hell is going on? Who 
Who's that? I'm coming. Leona! Leona! Oh, I'm, 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 I'm really so sorry that I came so early. I'm so sorry. Please, is Leona here? Good morning. Good morning. Is Leona here? Come, stop looking at me. Is she here? Dave, she's gone. What are, what are you talking about? What, what, what do you mean she's gone? Gone to where? She no longer stays with me. She told me she's going to take care of the baby herself. No, no, no. no. What, 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 you, what you're saying now doesn't make any sense to me. What are you saying? <sighs> Can you say something? You see, she was once married. And that marriage they didn't work because of no baby. Wait, wait, Megan, you're trying to tell me that Leona took my niece just to have a baby? Like, how does it even make sense? What are you talking about? Yes. You see, I, I, I tried stopping her. I tried my best. I tried to convince her, but she didn't listen to me. I didn't know what to do. You, 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 try, you try. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Did she leave a forwarding address? Did she say where she was going to? She must have, she must have said something. No. In fact, she said alliance won't be reachable. Sorry. Megan. I'm sorry. <gasps> I'm sorry. Are you sure this is complex offices? Of course it is. You know, just take me to a police station, please. Hey, calm down. I know how you feel. You don't know how I feel. Just get me out of here. Get into the car. Already two weeks and we still haven't heard anything from the police. I was there yesterday. I was there today. I will continue to go there. They will continue to see my face until they give me answers. And if I find her this time, I won't let a single soul come close to her. I will not let anybody come close to her. Please, I need to be inside. What did you do? Taking my niece out of this house for two weeks? How dare you? What were you trying to do? Helping you realize that what is before you is not a joke. What if you were so desperate to get a child? Why didn't you get pregnant or better still adopt one? Instead of taking my niece away, do you know how sick that is? Well, I'm glad Megan told you exactly what I wanted her to tell you. 
The truth is I don't have a child and I've never been married. And as much as I want one, I am not desperate for them. Okay, so, so, so why did you do it then? Because you think you can manipulate everything. Do you think I am stupid? I had your conversation with Harold. Yes, how you had invited other women here before inviting me. And how you would do anything to make me stay. Wait, 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 wait. You seriously think that kissing me and telling me that you love me will make me leave my life and come here to help you raise Julie? Is that how much I'm starved of kiss and love? Leon, I'm a broken man. I'm going through a phase I've never been through before. I don't even know the best way to deal with this. I'm trying very hard to deal with this. I need to raise that child. I don't even know how. Look, I'm sorry if I've offended you in any way. I'm really sorry. Just find a place in your heart to forgive me, but I am not letting you take her away from me again. I'm sorry I took her. I was blinded by rage, thinking that after two years of getting over the humiliation I felt when you asked me to leave your house, that you would want to use me again. I swear I'm a changed man, Leon. This little girl has changed me. <laughs> She's everything I have. It used to be Brenda, but now Julie is all I have. And the only way I can feel connected to Brenda is by loving her the way Brenda has asked me to. I'm so sorry I hurt you. You need to stop crying. It's okay. Do you know that after... After... Brenda's plea in that book. I took Julie out to the road and dropped her there, hoping that someone would pick her. And then a mad woman just popped out of nowhere and almost took her. What? Yes. That is how stupid I am. No. No, you, you are not stupid. I guess you are frustrated. Why did I even have the heart to do that? Um, How? It was fear. I feel so heartbroken. I've been leaving without any sense of responsibility and just the first time. The first time that I have one responsibility what did I do? I ran. Well, it's not particularly an easy responsibility. What am I going to do? You don't have any relation you can bring over? Not at all. Growing up, Parents did not really mingle with relatives. And even at the burial, when after they died and went to bury them, our relatives all kept their distance because we, we don't have that kind of relationship. So no, it's just Julie and I.
Leona. This past two weeks, that you had to go for a conference and was unable to take my calls, made me realize that I want this life with you. It was the most boring two weeks of my life. At some point, I began to wonder what I would do if I had to lose you. I love you. Please marry me. I want to do this life with you. I am so certain of that. Please make me the most happiest man on earth. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You love it? Yes, I... I love you. Thank you for making me the most luckiest man on earth. I promise to make you happy. You will never be sad. <laughs> you will be happy all your life with me. <laughs> and, I mean, you look beautiful. So, see, you knew I was going to propose to you today, Abby? No. You're perfectly <laughs> dressed for the occasion. No. Thank you very much. Please come here. Thank you. It's so beautiful. You don't look to me like someone who just got engaged. Uh, I... I'm still shocked. Pleasantly shocked or just shocked? Happy shocked. Okay. It's just so sad that I'm not even as happy as I should be for you. Because I know that there's something Fred needs to know. And if he gets to find out, trust me, he's not going to be happy. I am not doing anything wrong here. But you're lying to him. You told him you went for a conference meeting. Whereas you went to an hotel. It's that little baby. All because you want to teach David a lesson. It had to be done. I, I thought... I thought he needed to know that raising a child is way much bigger than bringing and dumping women. Okay. I just hope he has really learned his lesson. Because if not, what have you achieved? I think I'm the one that has learned something instead. What? It's not that guy of two years ago. Meaning, Megan, I have never seen him bear his heart out like it. Leona, stop this. Just stop it. I have told you that is his new tactics. No. He has changed. Or he's changing at least. Okay. <laughs> I just don't like the way your son interests me. I am not falling for him. Neither am I about to run into his arms or something. So what are you trying to do then? I'm going to move in to be with Julie. <laughs> You're joking, right? It's just for a while. <laughs> Wait. You want to move in with him or with Julie? Yo, you just... You are engaged. It's, I wasn't expecting to. Because it is a surprise. Your reality now is so different from then. Okay. So what are you going to tell Fred? Something that will make him not to worry. I, I'll figure something out. Okay. It just seems you like this guy, not the way you're seeing it. 
one thing I know is that something is definitely happening to you in that house. And trust me, I am not going to forgive myself if anything happens to you or if they hurt you. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Is that a real? What? The ring. Oh, yes. Wow. Uh, last night. Hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. I just, um, I just came to see you. Family. Um, Julie is fine. Uh, just a few weeks. Don't worry, I'll come see you from time to time. No, 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 no. You, you don't need to come here. The atmosphere here is quite different. Sure. Love you too. Bye. Abaya, do you know how many times I've caught you eating Julie's food this week alone? I'm sorry, the thing is too sweet. <laughs> because it's baby food. <laughs> but these babies are having fun. You Can know. you imagine? Oh, that's so go, funny. Drop, drop, drop. Mm. Hey, go, move. I'm sorry. Move. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Baby Dave. I'm sorry. Look at this. <laughs> refused to sleep. Why? Well, she's not running temperature. Mm -mm, no. Give me her. Oh no, it's my night. Oh, come on. You look really tired, all right? You need to sleep. Let me take her. Uh. Okay. Nice. 
Can I help? Nah, <laughs> just go in and change. Well, you didn't change. <laughs> I want to help. If you insist. <clears throat> Is this okay? Uh, that's a little too big. Uh, okay. Let me show you. Show. Sure. This is. Um, you know what? I I think I'll I'll just change. I foresee, who else has the keys to this house if not you? <laughs> hey stranger, what's up? Good. So how is everyone? Good, 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 good. Uh, I need to talk to you. What's up? I'm in trouble. What have you done? It's actually what I'm about to do. Try to speak plain English now. I'm in love with Dave. Are you serious? I didn't plan it. No, it's okay, it's fine. You, do, you don't have to defend yourself because of course, I was already expecting this. You know, for you to move in with a guy, despite being engaged. No, so. I didn't know I was in love with him then. Mm -hmm, but you enjoyed spending time with him. Okay. Leona. You know, there was a time when we both wanted Fred to propose so badly. And then you just moved on so quickly to raise a child. And then tell you have big story to your fiance who engaged you. Which is why I need to tell him the truth. So what is Dave saying? Nothing. We have our moments, but we've never pursued it. No. Kiss? No. I would never dishonor what I have with Fred. And Dave respects that. Being there this past weeks, it have made me want nothing more. Okay. Leona, if you end things up now with Fred, trust me. You're going to be at a loss. Because the day that I know is not ready for a serious commitment. Still, I need to tell Fred the whole truth. I don't want him being with me knowing that my heart is somewhere else. Did you call Fred? On my way here. Oh my god. Okay. You're welcome. How are you? I'm fine. Hey, baby. How are you?
What's going on? Why are you still? Please have a seat. I need to discuss something with you. I hope there's no problem. What's going on? I have been helping my ex raise his niece. You, you, you what? I don't understand. I thought you said you, your friend Brenda died and that a family asked you to help with the baby. It's not exactly the truth. Brenda's brother is my ex oh and my he's the one that asked him oh. to help him raise his niece. Oh. Wait. So all this time you said you were going to Brenda's family. You've actually been going to see him, man. I am not romantically involved with him. Oh. Oh were you? Were you at any point in time in this life romantically involved with him? Yes. <sighs> Two years ago, just before I met oh. you, I so I can tell you the whole truth. So, so what do you want now? I can't continue this. Want to end us? No. Fred, I cannot be with you when I still think of him. So you love him more? Leona. I'm sorry. Just imagine if I was the one that did this to you. Frederick. I am deeply sorry, but if you marry me, it wouldn't be the whole of me. I got close to him, I had the opportunity to choose you, but I didn't. I didn't dishonor you by being with him, but continuing this, it's just not right. I hope he wants you, the way you're giving up everything for him. I hope he does. Fred. I don't want it. You can keep it, okay? You are, okay? You're sincere. No. Frederick doesn't deserve this. Neither does he really deserve to be with a woman who doesn't love him. Leona, you need to hear this. Okay? Just in case Dave does not step up, be happy. You know, just go sip your favorite red wine, you know? Just fly. And have it in the back of your mind that you've done a very honorable thing. And then focus your energy on taking care of that little child. Okay? It's okay. I don't want to see those tears. Because you don't deserve it. Come here. Come. It's okay. It's okay, trust me. It's okay. I love you. Thank you so much. And I'm always gonna be there for you. Okay? Don't cry. 
Mm, stop it! Hey, you. Hey. Is everything okay? What's going on? Uh, I am... Um, I broke up with my fiancé. What? Why? Well, I didn't tell him the truth about being here. Now that I've told him, we are no longer together. <gasps> Thank God. What? Look, Leona, did I saw that ring on your finger? My heart broke. And I prayed to God, telling him that I would do anything to be with you. Well, I guess God loves you more than he loves your ex. Are you kidding me? Leona, you're perfect. I know I was an idiot two years ago, but it doesn't change the fact that you're perfect. Are you ready to go from being a fiancé to being a girlfriend in one day? Because you have to say yes to being my girlfriend. I've fallen for you, Leona. So will you. I've fallen for you too. So yes, you totally. Have. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh Thank you. I won't hurt you again. I know. And thanks for Julie. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Yeah. 